Princess Charlotte. We've watched her grow from a cheeky little girl into a poised young lady. She's admired by everyone. She's the youngest monarch, after all. But the recent Trooping the Color event left us all in wonder. The usually bubbly and playful Charlotte seemed different. Her behavior raised eyebrows, and we can't help but wonder what's going on behind the palace walls. Could it be the recent health challenges faced by her mother, the Princess of Wales, that have cast a shadow over young Charlotte? Let's explore the possible reasons for her surprising behavior and how it might shape her future role as a royal. Watch the full story here. Appearances throughout the years. Princess Charlotte, the youngest child of the Prince and Princess of Wales, has captured the hearts of the public with her charming personality and energetic aura. From her earliest public appearances, she has exhibited a captivating blend of innocence and assertiveness, offering glimpses into the future of the monarchy. The Trooping the Color ceremonies have served as a stage for Princess Charlotte's evolution, from a playful child to a poised young lady. Previously, her interactions with the crowd and her siblings revealed a spirited and affectionate nature. Her playful antics, while endearing, also hinted at a strong-willed personality suggesting that she has characteristics and potential for leadership in the future. Fast forward to 2024. Trooping the color, a noticeable shift in Princess Charlotte's demeanor was observed by the onlookers. Her interactions displayed a newfound maturity and confidence. The once playful princess had blossomed into a young woman with a keen understanding of her role within the royal family. Her composed demeanor and adherence to protocol showcased a remarkable growth in her understanding of public expectations and royal duties. This evolution from a mischievous child to a poised young royal is a testament to Princess Charlotte's adaptability. Her journey has captivated the public and offers a glimpse into the future of the British monarchy. Her composure at the Trooping Ceremony, 2024. Closely mirroring her mother, Princess Charlotte was seen dressed in a sailor gown exuding confidence and ready to take on the public. She has been garnering attention for her spirited and confident demeanor, which was on full display during the 2024 Trooping the Color ceremony. Despite the intense media scrutiny that accompanies royal events, Charlotte appeared unfazed and projected a confident aura. She made eye contact, held her head high, and had a confident, almost daring look in her eyes. Her composure was extremely remarkable given the recent challenges her family has faced, including her mother's cancer diagnosis and subsequent treatment. Charlotte's resilience and spirited nature showed through as she participated in her first official event alongside Kate since December 2023, following a period of family-focused time away from public engagements. Princess Etiquettes the little princess is turning heads, and it's no surprise. She's got this incredible ability to hold her own in the spotlight, and it's clear she's learning the ropes of royal life pretty quickly. She totally stole the show at this year's Trooping the Color Ceremony. Dressed to impress, she looked like a mini royal. And let's be honest, she carried herself like one too. I mean, the way she held herself, made eye contact, and even gave a little wave. It was like she was born for this. She's got this amazing balance of being a playful kid while also understanding the importance of her role. It's like she's got a built-in understanding of royal protocol. And can we talk about how she's this little leader figure for her brother Louis? She's always keeping an eye on him, making sure he's behaving. Charlotte gently guided Louis's behavior during the ceremony, showing patience and a sense of authority that belies her young age. Her role as the middle child seems to have imbued her with a unique blend of empathy, responsibility, and a strong sense of duty. Charlotte's ability to balance the demands of public life with the innocence of childhood is remarkable. Her composure and confidence, even in the face of intense public scrutiny, suggest a level of emotional intelligence beyond her years. She waved to the crowds at the appropriate moments, displaying a practiced gesture that showcased her dedication to mastering royal etiquette at a young age. It's clear that Princess Charlotte is being groomed for a major role in the future of the monarchy. She's got the charm, the poise, and the intelligence to make a real impact. I can't wait to see what she does next. Royal Etiquettes During Other Events 
This isn't the first time that Princess Charlotte showed her royal glow up. Can you imagine being seven years old and having to say goodbye to your great-grandmother, the Queen of England? That was the reality for Princess Charlotte. It was a heart-wrenching time for the entire royal family, but seeing Charlotte handle herself with such grace and maturity was truly inspiring. She is just a little girl, but she stands tall beside her family during the state funeral. You could see the sadness in her eyes, but she also showed incredible strength. And that little touch of wearing the queen's horseshoe brooch, so thoughtful and personal. Remember that moment when they were leaving the funeral? Charlotte was comforting her brother, George. It was like she was the little guardian angel of the family. She's definitely got a strong sense of responsibility for someone so young. It was a tough time for the royals, but seeing Charlotte's resilience and maturity was a bright spot. She's a true testament to the strength of the royal family. Warrior Princess too would have thought that behind the sweet princess-like exterior of Princess Charlotte lies a little firecracker? It's no secret that the young royal is capturing hearts worldwide, but what's even more fascinating is the glimpse into her personality we've been given. There's this incredible story about Charlotte earning the nickname Warrior Princess during her nursery school days. It's like something out of a fairy tale, but with a modern twist. She's clearly got this amazing blend of sweetness and assertiveness, a combination that's both charming and powerful. It's no wonder she's in the spotlight. Charlotte's not just a pretty face, but she's got this inner strength and determination that's truly inspiring. The Monopoly of the Name Princess Charlotte's specialness is not only expressed in her personality, but also in her special name. Princess Charlotte Elizabeth Diana of Cambridge is a name that carries the weight of royal history and familial affection. Charlotte, a feminine form of Charles, honors her grandfather, the future King Charles III. This choice underscores the continuity and legacy of the royal family. The middle name Elizabeth is a nod to her great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, a figure synonymous with stability and service. Queen Elizabeth II played a pivotal role in modernizing the monarchy and maintaining its relevance in contemporary times. And then there's Diana, a poignant tribute to her beloved grandmother, Princess Diana who captured the world's imagination with her compassion, charitable work, and devotion to her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. She to date continues to inspire millions. The inclusion of Elizabeth and Diana in Charlotte's name is more than just a royal tradition. It's a conscious decision to connect the past, present, and future of the monarchy. It's a way of honoring the women who have shaped the institution and paved the way for future generations. The name Charlotte also holds personal significance for the Middleton family. It's the middle name of Charlotte's aunt, Pippa Middleton, strengthening the bond between the royal family and the Middletons. This careful selection of names highlights the importance of family, history, and tradition within the British monarchy. It's a name that carries the weight of expectation, but also the promise of a bright future. However, that is not the only name the beloved princess is used to. It turns out even princesses have adorable nicknames that make them feel a little more like, well, normal kids. Kate, the Princess of Wales, sweetly calls her Lottie. A very common nickname for Charlotte indeed. However, it's like a mother-daughter thing showing the special bond they share. Super cute, right? On the flip side, there's Prince William. In May 2019, Kensington Palace shared a heartwarming video on Instagram of the Cambridge children playing. In the video, Prince William calls Charlotte by an unusual yet sweet name. He's got this fancy French nickname for her, Mignonette. It's like something out of a fairy tale. It means small, sweet, and delicate, which is totally her. I mean, who wouldn't melt when their dad calls them that? It shows a really tender side to William and Kate, and it makes Charlotte seem even more relatable. It's like they're trying to give her as normal a childhood as possible, even though her life is anything but ordinary. Mother-Daughter Duo 
Watching Kate Middleton interact with Princess Charlotte during the Trooping the Color was like witnessing a masterclass in maternal care and royal guidance. There was an undeniable bond between them, a connection that went beyond the typical mother-daughter relationship. Throughout the event, Charlotte garnered most of Kate's attention. On the balcony, Kate was positioned directly behind Charlotte, showing a protective stance. Kate's constant attention to Charlotte was heartwarming. From gently adjusting her daughter's hair to offering reassuring glances, her protective instincts were evident. It was clear that she was not just a mother attending a public event, but a guardian, ensuring Charlotte felt safe and secure in the spotlight. She was an effective guide to Charlotte, gently nudging her from time to time to ensure they navigated the event smoothly. Charlotte, in turn, seemed to thrive under her mother's watchful eye. The little princess was often seen turning to Kate for reassurance, a testament to the strong bond they share. It was a beautiful portrayal of a loving and supportive mother-daughter relationship, one that offered a glimpse into the heart of the royal family. Throughout the event, Princess Charlotte appeared visibly happy and engaged, often smiling and occasionally turning back to interact with her parents while waving to the crowds. For Kate Middleton, the event likely carried heightened emotions given the family's recent challenges and adjustments. While the public may not be privy to the full extent of their experiences over the past months, the day's significance and public scrutiny undoubtedly added pressure. Kate's ability to focus much of her attention on Charlotte not only ensured her daughter's well-being, but also provided a grounding anchor for herself. For a young girl, this public spectacle is no less than a nerve-wracking occasion. Kate's attentiveness provided a protective shield for Charlotte to help navigate through the parade. This dynamic between Kate and Charlotte showcased the importance of maternal influence in shaping young royals. This highlights the close and loving bond between mother and daughter. As Princess Charlotte continues to grow within the royal family, her poised demeanor and the supportive presence of her parents, particularly Kate Middleton, are likely to shape her into a confident young royal who embraces her role with grace and determination. A chatty little princess, Princess Charlotte, isn't just a pretty face. She's got a personality that shines through. Kate Middleton gave us a hint of her feisty side when she described her daughter as very cute, but she has quite a feisty side back in 2016. It's clear that Charlotte is not one to be underestimated. We've seen glimpses of this spirited nature in public appearances. By 2018, Charlotte's personality had become more obvious in the public eye. Remember that time at Prince Louis's christening? She totally stole the show with her cheeky little wave and confident demeanor. It was like, hey world, I'm here, and I'm not afraid to show it. Charlotte's charm isn't just about her feistiness. There's a sweet and polite side to her, too. People who've met her talk about her charm and how well-mannered she is. She's got this incredible ability to connect with people, young and old. It's no wonder she's such a favorite. Mini Princess Diana this combination of politeness and vivacity reflects Charlotte's ability to navigate the public spotlight with grace. It's hard to talk about Princess Charlotte without mentioning that uncanny resemblance to her late grandmother, Princess Diana. It's like looking into a mirror from the past. Those sparkling blue eyes, that mischievous smile. It's almost eerie how similar they look. It was on her fourth birthday that the undeniable resemblance between Princess Diana and her granddaughter became evident. The Prince and Princess of Wales released new portraits of their daughter, which prompted fans to draw parallels between Charlotte and Diana, especially when an old childhood photo of Diana emerged around the same time. Social media platforms like Twitter became abuzz with comparisons, with fans noting how Charlotte's features resemble those of both Prince William and Princess Diana. It was like a bombshell dropped on the royal fandom. Suddenly, everyone was talking about how much she looked like Diana. It was on social media, in newspapers, everywhere. It's more than just looks, though. There's a spirit there, a kind of warmth and compassion that reminds people of Diana. It's like Charlotte is carrying on her grandmother's legacy in her own special way. 
and that's what makes her so captivating. Comments have ranged to speculations on how Diana might have adored her granddaughter. Indeed, Princess Charlotte's resemblance to her royal ancestors sparks ongoing discussions among fans and observers. Queen Elizabeth's Favorite It's hard to talk about Princess Charlotte without mentioning the uncanny resemblance she shares with both Princess Diana and Queen Elizabeth II. It's like looking at a family photo album come to life. The little princess has inherited a blend of their features, creating a unique look that has captured the public's imagination. From her grandmother, she's got that sparkle in her eye and the same infectious laugh. It's like seeing a younger version of Diana with a touch of modern sass. And then there's that hint of the queen in her features, the strong jawline, the regal bearing. It's as if the past and present of the monarchy have converged in this one extraordinary little girl. Social media has been buzzing with comparisons, with people sharing side-by-side -side photos of Charlotte and her royal ancestors. It's become a kind of royal guessing game, trying to pinpoint which feature is from whom. It's a testament to the enduring legacy of these iconic women that their likeness lives on in a new generation. Her likeness to both Princess Diana and Queen Elizabeth II serves as an important reminder of her lineage within the British royal family. Charlotte's resemblance is more than just skin deep. It's a symbol of continuity, a bridge between eras. She's carrying forward the legacy of these extraordinary women, and in doing so is shaping her own unique place in royal history. Kate's Battle with Cancer It's impossible to talk about Princess Charlotte without acknowledging the incredible strength of her mother, Kate Middleton. Behind the polished image of a royal, Kate is a devoted mother first and foremost. Her decision to share her cancer diagnosis with the public was a brave one. It was a testament to her strength and determination to not only fight her own battle, but also to be transparent with her supporters. But more importantly, it showed the world the incredible love and dedication she has for her children. By choosing to share her journey, Kate ensured that her children were shielded from unnecessary speculation and gossip. It was a conscious decision to protect their innocence and provide them with a sense of normalcy amidst the chaos of their royal lives. The way she balanced her health battle with her maternal duties is truly inspiring. It's a reminder that even in the face of adversity, a mother's love is the ultimate superpower. It was clear that protecting her children was a top priority throughout her ordeal. Her decision to prioritize her children's well-being, even amidst her own health battle, showcased her unwavering dedication as a mother. The way she balanced her role as a mother with her public duties during this challenging time is truly admirable. She managed to create a sense of normalcy for her children while also fulfilling her royal obligations. It's a testament to her strength and determination. Kate's courage and transparency have resonated with people around the world, inspiring others facing similar challenges. Her story is a reminder that even in the face of adversity, it's possible to find strength and hope. At the event, which marked a return to the public eye after a period of absence, seeing Kate Middleton with her children is like watching a real-life fairy tale unfold. There's this undeniable bond between them, especially with Princess Charlotte. It's clear that Charlotte is the apple of her eye. There was this constant protective energy around her, like a shield against the world. You could tell she was making extra effort to give her kids a sense of normalcy after everything they'd been through. Despite the difficulties the family had faced over the past year, including Kate's health journey, the Wales children appeared relaxed and at ease. Kate showed that she is not just a royal, but a mother figure as well. His interactions with her daughter gave us a glimpse at the strong trust and affection between the duo. This close relationship is imbued with admiration of empathy. For onlookers, the reaction is always loving seeing Kate interact with her children. Loving Granddaughter If you think that these things are not enough evidence to conclude that Charlotte is a potential princess of the British royal family, then these will be the things that can convince you. 
First, Princess Charlotte was very observant when she learned that her father missed Princess Diana. Princess Charlotte's connection to her late grandmother, Princess Diana, has been tenderly nurtured by her family, particularly Prince William, who has ensured that Diana's memory remains alive and cherished within their household. In March 2021, the public got a glimpse into Charlotte's heartfelt tribute to her granny Diana through a touching Mother's Day card. Posted on Kensington Palace's Instagram, the card, adorned with a pink heart and stickers, conveyed Charlotte's love and remembrance for her grandmother. Her message, written in childlike innocence, read, I am thinking of you on Mother's Day. I love you very much. Papa is missing you. Lots of love, Charlotte. This simple yet touching gesture not only honored Diana's memory, but also reflected the ongoing influence of her legacy within the family. Prince William has been instrumental in fostering this connection between his children and their wives and legacy. William shared how he keeps Diana's memory alive through conversations and photos with his children. It's pretty amazing how Prince William is keeping Diana's memory alive for his kids. He's not just talking about her. He's sharing stories, showing pictures, and making her feel like she's still part of their lives. It's a beautiful way to honor her and keep her legacy alive. Imagine bedtime stories about your grandma who was a princess. That's what these kids get to experience. And it's not just about the stories. It's about the values, the kindness, the compassion that Diana embodied. By sharing these memories, William is passing on more than just facts. He's passing on a legacy of love and service. It's no wonder Princess Charlotte is growing up to be such a strong and confident young woman. Having that kind of role model in her life, even though she never met her, must be incredibly powerful. Assertive little royal Princess Charlotte, the youngest of the Cambridge kids, is actually the boss of the family. Okay, maybe not officially, but the way people talk about her, it's like she's the secret ruler of the royal household, or at least her brothers. Even the queen noticed Princess Charlotte's bossy side. Okay, maybe not bossy, but definitely assertive. There's this amazing story about Charlotte and her brother, George. They were at some royal event, and the queen was there too. And get this. The queen was chatting with another mom about her kids. And the mom was like, Oh, my youngest is always in charge. Then, the queen, being the observant queen she is, totally connects the dots and says something like, Oh, it's the same with Charlotte and George. Can you imagine the queen herself saying that Charlotte's the boss of her older brother? It's like, wow, this kid is something else. Kate's shared a few stories about Charlotte, and it's clear she's got a strong personality. She's not just cute, she's confident and knows what she wants. There was this one time Kate was chatting with someone at an event, and she mentioned how Charlotte's this little leader figure in the family. It's like Charlotte's got this invisible crown she's wearing, even though she's the youngest. Princess Charlotte, royal, stylish, and secretly the ruler of the Cambridge household. Who would have thought? In 2022 alone, Charlotte took charge on two significant occasions where she directed her older brother Prince George on how to behave appropriately. She's got this confidence about her that's just incredible. It's clear she knows what she's doing, even at a young age. And it's not just about bossing her brother around, it's about understanding her role and how to carry herself. She's a natural-born royal, that's for sure. Public Presence she reportedly enjoys being in the limelight and rarely feels intimidated by the attention or demands of royal engagements. This natural confidence bodes well for her future role within the monarchy, as she appears genuinely invested in her responsibilities from an early age. Can you believe Princess Charlotte is already nine? It feels like just yesterday she was a tiny tot waving from the balcony. But look at her now. She's growing up so fast, and she's already showing signs of being a future queen. We love how she's really taking her royal duties seriously, like she's actually working on herself. That's dedication, right there. And can you imagine the thoughtfulness of cleaning the car window so everyone could see her? 
It's those little things that show her true character. She's not just a princess. She's becoming a role model. She's learning the ropes, and she's doing it with grace and determination. We can't wait to see what she achieves in the future. This act of initiative and attentiveness underscores her emerging sense of responsibility and empathy, qualities that will likely shape her future as a member of the royal family. Line of Succession So, let's talk about who's next in line for the British throne. It's a little more complicated than you might think. Back in the day, it was all about being a boy. The eldest son was automatically next in line no matter what. But times have changed, thank goodness. We had Queen Elizabeth, then her son, Prince Charles, taking over. After that, it was supposed to be Prince William, then Harry. But then William and Kate had kids, George, Charlotte, and Louis. So they jumped the queue a bit. Now, with King Charles on the throne, it's William's turn to be next in line. That means his kids are moving up. So, it's William, then George, then Charlotte, and then little Louis. But here's the thing. It wasn't always like that. There used to be this old rule that only boys could be king. There was this big change in 2013 with the succession to the Crown Act. Basically, it means that the oldest child, whether a boy or a girl, is next in line for the crown. It's all about fairness now. It's a huge contrast from her great-aunt's Princess Anne's experience. The second child and only daughter of Queen Elizabeth II, Princess Anne, despite her status as the Queen's second eldest child and a highly respected member of the royal family, renowned for her dedicated work ethic, found herself lower down in the line of succession due to the previous laws favoring male heirs. Anne currently occupies the 16th position, a reflection of the older rules that the succession to the Crown Act aimed to rectify for future generations. This change in the legislature is huge news, especially for Princess Charlotte. She was born after this rule changed, so she's safe in her spot, no matter what happens. It's a big deal because it means women have an equal chance to be queen. About time, right? It's a step in the right direction for the monarchy, showing that they're keeping up with the times. Growing up in the spotlight, Princess Charlotte is getting ready for a big job. She's learning to balance the fancy royal life with being a normal kid. It seems like her parents are doing a great job of teaching her and her siblings how to handle the pressure of being royalty while still finding their way. We can expect to see more from this mini-royal who is following in the footsteps of some amazing British royal women like her mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother. From trooping the color to many more spectacles, do you think this royal will grow up without a rebellious streak? We can't wait to see what Charlotte will do when she's older. She's still young, but it's clear she's already got what it takes to be a fantastic ambassador for the UK. What do you think Charlotte will be good at when she grows up? Let us know in the comments below. In the meantime, if you found this video informative, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.